ち合わせしてるんだよえだからキオーラさんは Well, Yamagata, it still looks an awful lot like you quit it before you hit it. Hey everyone, it's Fino with School Days. <laughs> school Days? Shiny Days! Again. So what happened last time was that we went for the MILF ending. The fabled MILF ending that I've been building up this whole time. And we find out that it's kind of sort of a harem ending. But not really. They call it the Banquet of Mothers, but it's more like the rotating sushi bar of mothers. You get them one at a time, and it's not really like you end with the three piece at once. So I don't know. I don't feel like that counts. Now, I did find out that there is a harem ending where you end up with two of the MILFs and Setsuna, but it's also one of the most involved endings, and therefore one I can't be asked with, at least not right now, maybe someday. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go for one of the other harem endings. Um, and this one is just all walkthrough. I, I don't have the mental capacity to do this. I've been up from like... I've been up since last night. So I'm just going to run through this. I'm going to see what's up. We'll see if anything weird happens along the way. And uh, yeah, we'll play it by ear besides that. Okay, so so far I've played back up to the point where I used the Yoko option to get us on the MILF route. Which apparently is a prerequisite for what I'm trying to do. I guess it makes sense given who one of the uh, participants is in this harem that we're going for. Who do you like? Oh. Oh. わありえないし。違うか。でもクラスインで一緒だし。今の忘れて。わかった。え、キヨーラの好きなやつって。Me. <笑><笑> Dude, Sawanaga doesn't actually appear in uh, Shiny Days as far as I could tell. But Sawanaga is a man born to suffer. If you saw the school days playthrough, you would have uh, seen that he does not have a great time. Who the fuck are you? Who is this lost sassy child? So I guess by building a better relationship with Setsuna in this playthrough, we aren't committed to the uh, to the multi milf. Oh wow! Right in public, huh? holy shit! <laughs> Nice. Dude, normally I'm partial to uh, Kotonoha. But <laughs> Yoko, Yoko I think might be my new favorite. Oh, here we go. I guess we know what the deal is with Yamagata now. Listen, in this entire... Ugh, in this entire playthrough, we have seen one. One eligible bachelor. Take a wild guess. Oh! Ah! Hell yeah! So, I, I do feel a little bad <laughs> for doing this because um, I'll give you guys a little, a little spoiler. Uh, the harem route I'm going for has two people, neither of which are Setsuna. So this story will not have a happy ending for her. Oh, that's Sekai's place. Oh yeah! How are we gonna keep Yoko in town? I'm kind of curious as to how this plays out. Because in the route we played before, 
Um, she fucks off to Paris. Both in the routes where we do and don't seduce her. Oh! One other possibility is that we can drag out the proceedings long enough that she actually gets back from France. Oh! Our first meeting with Hikari in this sequence. It's a free country. If I want to hang around in smelly public transit, that's my business, Ikari, not yours. Oh, yeah! Your family are mercenaries! <laughs> <laughs> so in school days, Hikari has a thing for Sawanaga, who's not in this game. Um, and there's a bunch of really weird routes involving her and Makoto. Like, there's... I think there's like, what, one route, really? But it's a, it's a very strange one. It's one where you try to do, like, a partner swap to try to break up Sawanaga and Kotonoha and get them with these two. But it fails and they're stuck with each other. And they don't really like each other, but they really like fucking. And so what happens is that Hikari ends up uh, being Makoto's pimp, essentially. Like, she pimps him out to all of her friends. Very strange. We should... You know what? <laughs> Maybe I should showcase that ending someday. Actually, I think this one has a similar ending, too. I'll say this. Otome is actually pretty cute when she's, uh... with Makoto. But I can't get into her because she spends, like, 99% of school days as, like, the world's biggest bitchzilla. <laughs> I mean, it's not entirely incorrect. It, it is sort of hard to deny that Makoto uh, is a bit of a ladies' man. He's a lot of a ladies' man. We'll fuck anything that moves. Wow, asshole! <laughs> Help me out, asshole! I'm dying here! Hell no! I'm gonna go get pussy. Yes, I am. Guess what? It's gonna be a girl swole enough to actually carry these fucking bags. What, do you think I'm gonna ask you two out? You fucking dragged me out here on a hot summer day to work my ass off. Wow, fucking pricks. I didn't realize possessive bitchiness runs in the family here, Jesus. Oh my god. 
Dude, Adobe is the worst girl in this entire franchise. What the fuck is this? You're gonna make me work on the festival? <laughs> is it meth? Oh no! <laughs> I see where this is going. No! Less spunk! Turtle bud? Bud? Turtle blood! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on a second. If Ikari drinks that, she's going to become a sexual Tyrannosaurus. Alright, apparently Setsuna is too. <laughs> Now I'm just imagining Yoko cracking open soft-shell turtles to drink their blood. Maybe the secret to her youthful looks. Oh, are we calling her? Oh, I guess she's not here. Wait. She left her phone. In the office? Wait, wait a second. She left her phone. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, bet your ass I am. Listen, I'm on to you, Karen. If I tell you who it is, you would have told me you're gonna bully the shit out of her. No, it's not fucking Yamagata. My tastes are far more patrician than merely glasses girls. Dude, at this point, I would just ditch. I don't know how much leverage Otome's family has on Makoto, but fucking... Being a one-man lifting crew is pretty bullshit. Yeah, you should've! Instead of cock-blocking everyone else! <laughs> <laughs> no, I think she's got it right. You know, considering how much Yamagata is in Shiny Days, like how often she shows up, she does very little. I think she plays more of a role in um, Cross Days, Cross Days. That has not gotten a release yet, although fingers crossed. Oh, please. Please. Let me see Otome's heart shatter into a million pieces. Oh, Otome. Oh, just give me the chance, Otome. I will end your career. So 
Motherfucker, you think I got time to watch you playing drums? I'm gonna be pounding ass. No, fix it your fucking self. I don't got time for this shit. Hmm. Let me look at my schedule. No. Dude, these fucking snakes in the grass are doing everything in their power to cock block me. <laughs> At this point, if it were me, I would have just sprinted off by now. Because they are very clearly playing games with me. No! Just say no! You're not even getting sex out of this! What are you doing? You know, I didn't think Summer Days had a villain. But it very clearly does. It has a pair of them. Listen, all I'm getting out of this game is that you should never volunteer for anything ever. Because whoever's in charge will take their sexual frustration out on you. With hard labor. Man, it feels... I feel kind of bad watching... Two people who have zero chance of winning this contest. Just... Just bear their hearts to each other. I like how Yamagata is just there, within earshot. He, maybe or maybe not hearing all this. Maybe she can't over the crowd, but this doesn't seem like the greatest plan. Wow, holy shit! I swear to fucking god. Alright, so, part one of the plan, we get with literally anyone who is not Otome or Karen. Part two, we make a sex tape. Part three, we mail them this sex tape. I like this plan. Shiny Days DLC. How many years has it been? Like ten years? Yeah, make it happen. Ten years DLC after the fact. It'll be the postal too of porn games.